are y'all doing today? Welcome to another episode of Black Pack Homestead. I'm on vacation this week, so hopefully I'll get some videos in for you, get a lot of stuff that needs done here on the homestead done. There's a lot that needs done. So, yeah, it is August 30th today, or vlogist 30th today. It's been, you know, a good morning. Lilac the sick rabbit is doing better. She was having it rough there for a while. We're just going to continue the regimen of malt and uh, gas X type products. There's a couple that we like to use, but uh, yeah, do your research. Always got to have it laying around, guys. You'll have rabbits that occasionally have problems. So, and usually, that's the type of problem you end up with because rabbits can't throw up and they can't pass gas. So now you know, rabbits can't throw up and they can't pass gas. So you got to have the gas X and you got to have the malt ready. Chilling with the Morella and uh, Hattie today, I guess. Down in the garden, we're doing some picking. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes you don't see, guys. You know, we can't videotape everything. No, 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 no. Don't you eat my tomato. You can eat the little tomatoes, but not the big tomatoes, okay? Pull your green thing off. There you go. Good job. Take a bite. That's so good. I see you. It's extremely red. I got some it's for the chickens. Good. Yeah. Hey, what is it? Tomato. Yeah. It has does. That are a stripy cross. Yeah. That's an interesting looking tomato I know, though. It's pointy. Volunteer tomato came out yellow, huh? Yeah, this one did. If it's ain't good, we may save the oh. seeds off of it. You never know what you're gonna get off these That's hybrids. Why I all of them that have turned because I don't want a chance not getting them and trying. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, I got like five of them. Yeah, Howdy I love this. I love the smell of the tomatoes down here. The green tomato smell. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Those are little green ones. You don't want those. Ugh, ugh. You want red ones. Let's get some red ones. She's chomping down green tomatoes down here. Hey, Hattie, come here. Come let's on, go, let's go. Let's go feed the chicken. Here's a good one right here. Come here, get this one. Get that one. Yeah, that's a good one. Pick it. There you go. All right, let's go see the chickens. I gotta give them all these tomatoes before I forget. Good job. Do you think you can carry it? <clears throat> you... It's heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. Can you do it? It's too much. She loves it. Let's go to the. Oh, you wanna give some, some tomatoes to the quail? 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 Yeah, not those tomatoes. Do you like the kids? They like tomatoes. Hey, they like tomatoes. Yeah. Cook up some quail for lunch. Eggs. 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 Yeah. Eggs got, got they make our flowers grow. Yep. Make our flowers right, grow. Let's go throw these through the fence. To That's the cute. Chickens. You're Why funny. Honey? Crowbar. Silky. Silky, yes. Let me get the, the gun. Don't get the tomato. That's for the chickens to eat, not you. And once it's been on the ground, it's gross. Yeah. Uh, I swear I think mutant's still broody. Alright, you want to give her some grain? Okay, I know. Throw for me. Yeah, I got your help. <laughs> Things have been good here today so far. It's been a nice cool morning. We've got some veggies picked. We gotta dehydrate a lot of tomatoes yet. Check on Hattie. Play in it, you know what to do. You shake it and then you put the lid on it. That's right. No, um, they're burnt out on the everything. Lettuce. Got some greens, we throw some greens in there, yeah, they'd, they'd be all over. They'd be all over that because I've got all these sunflower heads. They're like, why would I want more? Yeah, they ain't hurt for sunflowers or scratch grains or food. I haven't seen any Rhode Island red eggs today. It's awful early yet. You know. Yeah, I know. I got some mowing that needs done at some point. Yeah. And it's probably going to end up here in the chicken pen for them to play with and sort through. Eat the bugs out of it. Make uh, me some good compost down here, which is forming excellent, excellently. <clears throat> Morella and I were actually talking about that the other day and how nice it is. It is definitely broke down and ready to be used in the garden. This has been forming for a while down in here. It's broke down really nice. Use my heel to dig down, you see what I'm left with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
that one's the water. You can't pick that one up. Hey, Lila. Integrating these ra uh, chickens into this rabbit system here has done very, very well. Better than expected for me. They've done a fine job of spreading it out. And uh, yeah, they all seem happy. Everybody seems pretty happy. That was a picture of Lilac a second ago just showing you how she was doing. She's actually more mobile today. She's looking better. She's eating and carrying on. So we're going to keep on with the regiment. That's the main thing. We were quick to find it, and uh, that's a big plus. But these rabbits here are getting a little older, and I got to harvest a few at some point this week, and uh, we'll do an episode on that. Great job. Oh, you want to get that? You're a good little birdie. You're very calm once yeah, I got now. you caught up. Oh, there she goes. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah. yeah look, I'm holding Bernadette. I just scooped her up. Ain't that awesome? And Hattie petted her a little. She squawked and kind of scared Hattie a little bit. But yeah, Bernadette's cool. I just wanted to pick a chicken up too. This one was easy. It walked right up to me and let let me pick it up. And you're a loving little girl. Chickens some, can sometimes be pretty friendly. They don't always have to be mean like Crowbar here. Or not Crowbar, but a uh, big bird. Big Bird is a turd and he's just protective of his girls in their nature to do so. All right, I hope this is Bernadette. I hope this is the one she picked up previously. <laughs> She's really chill, really chill chicken. You're a pretty bird. <laughs> yeah, I think Bernadette's the one of the bigger. <laughs> I picked one of them up a, a second ago. Look, he's doing the dance. Yep. Come here. That, right. chi that chicken's mean. Yeah, and he's a mean chicken. Big Bird's mean. Don't mess with him. I'll run you off, Big Bird. Get out of here, Big Bird. <laughs> you don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. Yeah, but slowly but surely, we're getting this deep freezer situated. and make, We're going to make room for old Big Bird in here. So we're just working on room right now, guys. It's uh, little bits of food add up over a period of time, and that's what we've run into, you know. But uh, dehydrating process is working well. We've got more tomatoes to dehydrate. Our whole garden is going to fit basically into a bag, it seems, but in the way of tomatoes. But it's been good. It's been a good year. And uh, all the animals are taken care of, and they're happy. You know, lilac's doing better, which is a plus. Got a little concern there for a while. It's never a good sign when that happens to your rabbit. There's always certain basic things you want to keep in your arsenal when you're dealing with these rabbits. It's, you know, gas eggs and uh, malt. I mean, it's just something you need, something you gotta have. If you want to raise rabbits, it's just better invest a little bit in, you know, stuff like a and ointment or blue coat or products like that that you will use on other animals should you need. Let's see another orange one. Let's go get the orange one. What are you going to do when all the tomatoes are gone? Lord, we'll be in trouble. Well, that uh, one there no to the back is really orange. 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 That's right. It's got a big buckle. Oh, does it? Well, we'll examine it. As much as we've gotten out of this garden, guys, it's still productive and still kicking it. Come on, baby. Let's For go. sure. Say hey. Can you say hey to our friends on YouTube? Look at the camera. Say hey! I want to thank all the new subscribers out there that are interested in living a self-sufficient life. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Uh, free show, hey, you can subscribe to it. This is how we live our lives, and it'll change from day to day. You never know what we're doing the next day. Could be plant one day, food preservation food preservation the next day. Maybe I got rabbit issues. You never know. Never know what the future brings. Keeps, keeps it exciting, guys. All right. God bless. Until next time, the Black Pack Homestead. Bye-bye.